Okay, today we're going to go over how to start um, a new file in Animate and also talk about the workspace and the area you'll be creating in. So once I open up Animate, this is the scene and the, the screen that I'm greeted with. Um, and it makes it real easy. You can start a new file really fast. I can go full HD, which um, for the most part, this is pretty much the setting that we will be uh, creating with. So if I click on this, it's going to open up a whole new scene and um, it gives me my uh, document settings over here. My stage tells me how many frames per second, um, which is good, but sometimes we don't always uh, create in 30 frames per second. So um, this is a good place to start, but it could also be, um, we could also do some customizing here to make things um, a little bit more suited for what we're going to create. So um, I'm going to go up here to where this is the actual um, uh, project name where it says untitled. I'm going to click that X right there and close this out. And we're going to start fresh. So I'm back to the home screen here and I'm going to go to new file. When I click on this, a new little window pops up and it gives me some options. OK, this is a little bit better. Um, I'm going to go to standard video. Um, and I've got some other options here too. Um, it also has options like if you're going to create an animation for a phone or Android or um, iPad, that kind of thing. These are more suited for uh, with a little globe inside, more suited for like uh, web-based animations. Um, since we're going to be creating kind of more of a standard video type animation to start, um, I'm going to click on this. But I'm not going to just click on create. What I want to do is change the numbers here to fit kind of a full HD. And so I'm going to click on the width. I'm going to put in 1920. And the height will be 1080. Um, my frame rate that we're going to, um, that will tend to animate in, is going to be 24 frames per second. So put 24 there. The platform type is going to be Action Script 3.0. The other option is HTML5 Canvas, but that's also going to make it, again, more web based type animation. I'm going to keep it with Action Script because that's going to be more of a standard video. So I'm going to put in these settings here. Um, my units say pixels, and that's fine. I can go back and adjust that later if I need to. Um, and I'm going to go and hit Create. And this pops up. It looks basically the same as what I just had open, except um, I now my frame rate is 24 frames per second over here. Um, I could have easily just have gone here and put in my own frame rate, um, however I see fit. Um, but I wanted to show you two different ways to um, create this. Um, when I look up here, um, this is my these are my my panels. Over here on the right side, and I have different options for different tools and settings over here on the far right. Um, this middle section here is our workspace, and in Animate, it's um, referred to as the stage. And so anything that is on the stage is going to be viewable in our animation. Anything that is on the outside parts of our stage, and if I zoom out here, control minus. Um, anything on the outside of the stage will not appear in our video or be rendered in the video. So that's something good to know because you can hide things off the stage um, for your animation. Um, different ways to view. I just did control plus and control minus to zoom in and out. Um, you also have a view bar or a status bar up here that tells you how you can show um, your, uh, your workspace and your stage. So if I show all, it will zoom completely in top to bottom. If I fit in window, it zooms out a little bit. Or I can um, use these options down below. Another option that you can use is in your toolbar on the left side. You have the zoom tool. And you can uh, select an object or something in your scene and zoom in on it um, like that and kind of click and drag. Um, so different options there for you to view. Um, we'll go back and fit in window. 
the um, toolbar over here, you have uh, lots of options already set up for you. Um, the workspace that we're working in typically is going to be um, kind of like an essentials workspace. Um, so if I click up here on the top right, this window right here has says essentials, and that is this layout right here. Um, it's a pretty common layout. There's others if you, if you prefer other types of layouts that you can change yours to if you like. Um, most of the things that I will be doing in class will be using this essentials um, because it's kind of the default. Um, so that's good to know because if something should get moved around, let's say you accidentally move some panels around or you've got some tools that you kind of move around and you're like, oh no, how do I get things back to how they were? Um, then you can go either up to here, workspace, and you can click on um, this little arrow, back arrow with essentials, and it will reset um, your workspace the way it was. Another way you can do that is also window, and you can go down to workspaces, and you can reset essentials down here as well. So two ways, if you find yourself, um, your windows kind of all janky and, and messed up, you can reset your workspace. So like most um, Adobe software, you have a toolbar on one side, you've got um, panels and settings to adjust those tools on the other side, um, and your workspace is in the middle. Um, underneath these tools, you'll see the little arrow on some of them that tells you that there are tools hidden underneath. And so if you hold click on one of these, you'll see the other tool underneath. Now, because this is Animate is a vector based program, um, you're going to see things like sub selection tools in here as well, um, much like you would see in Illustrator. Um, you have a set number of selection tools, uh, resizing tools. If you hover over these tools, you'll see that it will um, give you a description of what that is. Um, and so you have lots of options here, but it's not all the options. If you click on this, um, these three dots right here, it says edit toolbar. You have other tools that are not ultimate, that are not immediately included with this program um, on, or in essentials anyways, on the toolbar. Um, so if we get to these other tools, what you would end up having to do is you can grab these and drag them onto your actual toolbar and drop them in here. So if, here's a brush, and I know I like to use this brush. I'm going to pair it with this brush right here. So I grabbed it and I'm dragging it and I'm going to drop it just like that. So now if I close this and I hold on that, I can toggle between these two different types of brushes, classic brush and a paint brush. Um, so some different options there that we can work with. Um, your timeline is down below and we'll get into timeline settings. And as you, if you have your option up here set to fit in window, uh, the handy thing is with this is that when you adjust your timeline, see how I'm going to where you see the two arrows, if I click and drag it up, I can see more of my timeline and more of my layers that I would have down below. Um, and as we get more into animating, we'll get into more of these timeline settings down here. Um, as far as our document goes, you can resize things here. You can link the sizes. Um, your stage can be changed. The stage is the color of your workspace. Okay, so you can choose a color here. Um, as just kind of sometimes it makes it easy, especially if you're working with objects that have white in them. Um, if you color your workspace, you'll be able to see that white and the color in your objects a lot better. Um, now, if you change your workspace for a project, it's going to keep that color throughout the whole project. So a lot of times the stage ends up getting colored, colored and covered up anyways with background art. Um, and you wouldn't normally um, see this stage color. Um, think of it as just like a plain backdrop on an actual stage, like in a theater. Um, typically, um, you would have a backdrop or a, a new environment kind of created in front of this. So it's like a back wall, basically. So this is basically um, the setup of Animate. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, tools on the left, 
stage and workspace in the middle, um, different ways that you can open up your um, and view your, your stage. And you have your panels on the right. Um, once you select a tool on the left, um, you'll notice that your panels change. So I have a tool selected, this brush, and I have a tool here, it says classic brush, different settings that I can use to manipulate that brush, the color of that brush. This is a fill brush, um, and we'll get into what that means. Um, the size of the brush can be altered here as well, um, and smoothing and so on. So um, with every tool, you'll have different types of settings that you can um, apply to that tool. So, um, and here you see different options, pen tool as well, um, all the things. So in a lot of ways, it's like Photoshop and Illustrator, and in some ways it's not. And we're gonna go through those different um, differences in class. So that is pretty much it for now. That's the basics for um, how to open and the basic layout for animate and how to reset um, your workspace should you need to.